What's up guys? Welcome back to another Monday video. And the sun just kind of came out a little bit. It's been gloomy, it's been rainy like for the past couple of days, so the sun coming out is a good sign. But something that's not so on the good side is this video. This week we're talking about things that we don't like, things that we hate. So for my video, I decided to talk about things that suck about being a teenager. So I am 15 and I have come along some things that kind of suck about being a teenager. So I just wanted to share some of these things with you guys. So let's get started. One really big thing that sucks for me about being a teenager is definitely having to go to high school. High school is the definition of, let's just say, down there. It's the worst place you could ever possibly be. And you know, you've been through elementary school, you went through kindergarten through fifth grade, so you've been in elementary school for six years. You go to middle school, you've been there for three years, and then you get to high school and these are your last four years, unless you go to college. But these are your last four years. You just want to get through these years so quickly. You want to get out of there. You want to be done with homework. You want to be done with classwork. You want to be done with annoying teachers. I remember when I asked like a friend of mine who goes to high school, who was in high school when I was in middle school. I was like, "What do you think about high school?" And they were like, "Oh, it's so much fun. You'll love it." I went to high school and I absolutely hate it. But to be honest, I kind of hate school in general, so it doesn't really help. So, there's so many things that's also wrong with high school that I might just have to make another video of why I hate high school. So be on the lookout for that, because I'll tell you now, that will probably be something I make in the future. <laughs> also along with being a teenager is peer pressure. Peer pressure is the worst thing that could have probably ever happened to someone. I've never personally dealt with peer pressure, but I have no friends who, ha who had and actually fell into the peer pressure. So, for example, let's just use the common, most usual example people will use. Let's say you're with a group of your friends, you all are hanging out, you're, <laughs> yeah, you're doing all that mess. And then someone pulls out a cigarette, and they light it because they smoke. And then people are like, oh, let me try, let me try. And they're like, oh my god, you should totally try this. Whatever you do, do not touch that cigarette. Cigarette. I, I have friends who smoke and I literally just look at them like, what do you get out of smoking? Bad lungs? Literally? You, you want that? You want bad lungs? Like, come on. People say it's like addictive, like you do it, people say it's addictive and they smoke like once a day and I'm just like, ew, why? Don't say nothing when you grow up, you got bad lungs and you cough like, <laughs> Another thing that sucks about being a teenager is, let me just jump right into it, acne. Acne, pimples, zits, breaking out, whatever you want to call it, it is the worst. It's the worst. <sighs> when I tell you I break out and I stress, I stress. <sighs> Put yourself together, okay? <sighs> Anyways. Acne is literally the worst thing that anyone can ever experience. Now, it mostly ha starts when you're a teenager. It may, it can start earlier, but literally, acne is so bad. I break out like on my forehead. I get pimples like all around here, and it's just the worst. And then you have to go to the store and figure out all these different types of products to figure out which one works for your face the best to try to get rid of all of this. Let's say you have a homecoming dance or you're going to prom or you have some big meeting with somebody and then all of a sudden, BAM! It's on your face. Another thing is, okay, this isn't necessarily a bad thing but it's not a good thing either. But going through the whole driving Stuff, the whole driving phase. So when you're a teenager, you're starting to you have to kind of kind of study to take your permit test or any type of that other stuff. It's so stressful. One because what if you study and you take it and you don't pass and you fail like a lot of times. Then you're sitting here and all your friends got their permit like cheese. Like I'm about to start driving here in just a few months. And then you're 
you're over here like, oh, cool, I failed the test a good five times, don't have my permit, I don't know what to do with my life. Another thing is, being being a teenager, you're starting to grow up. So you're almost to those you're almost to those years where you're an adult. So your parents start to say start putting all these responsibilities on you, like you need to start doing the laundry, you need to start washing the dishes, and all this other type of stuff. Let's say you want to go with your friends and see you're already moving. You want permission from your mom. She's like, oh no, you're too young to see you're already moving. But then let's say you want to go. Let's just say you want to go to Gaddyland because you miss being that young kid that you were when you were like seven and you just want to go, you want to eat the pizza and the cinnamon sticks and your parents are, oh no, you're too old for that. What? Am I too old? Am I too young? Last but certainly not least about being a teenager is you start to learn how to stay up at night and you can be up all through the night. I. I literally think barely any teenagers get sleep nowadays. Personally, me, I have to force myself to sleep. I have like a schedule for how I'm gonna sleep. So I pretty much watch YouTube, This, what you're watching right now. I watch videos till about 11, and then I get on my phone, and I will look at the time, and if it's 11.30, I'll go to bed. If it's past 11.30, I definitely fall asleep. But if it's before 11.30, I just kind of lay there and just think. I just think about whatever. Normally it's about videos. Normally I try to think of ideas for videos. But it's so hard. I, I, know, t I know some of my friends, they stay up to like 2 o'clock or like 3 o'clock. And I'm just like, and then you got to get up at 5? Oh no, sweetie. I need, I need more than a nap time to be able to get up and go to school. Thank God we do not have school next Monday and Tuesday. Thank you, professional development days, and thank you, election day. Oh, praise the Lord. So those are all the things that I have about why being a teenager sucks. And if you enjoyed this video and you can agree on some of these things, if you're a teenager, give the video a big thumbs up. Um, if you, if you think, if you're a teenager and you think I missed anything about why being a teenager sucks, please put those in the comments, in the comments below. Or if you're not a teenager yet and you kind of have some questions about what it's like, if you want to know more about being a teenager because you're not one yet, go ahead and put those in the comments below. And then you know there's that subscribe button, like, I think it's right over here. It's on one of these sides. I'm pretty sure it's over here. But there's like a subscribe button. It's red. It's down here. It's by our little icon. You should definitely click it and subscribe because... I mean, we post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I may do a high school expectations versus reality video. I want to make one of those. Yeah. Yeah. You, you go, girl. Go. Be sure to stay tuned for Lauren's and Katia's video this week. Um, I know theirs is probably going to be pretty interesting as well. But that is all for this video. I really hope you enjoyed. Again, being a teenager is fun. But there are also some hard times about being a teenager. So don't forget it. <laughs> I'll see you guys next Monday. Bye.